Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make an item generate in randomly generated chests. Uh, these include dungeons, strongholds, mineshafts, etc, etc. Um, I'll be starting off with just a basic item and let's go ahead and get started. So the way we actually generate the item in the chests is a single line of, co of code and that is chest gen hooks dot add item um, you're going to have to import ch uh, chest gen hooks I've already imported it and the category is going to be a string that represents the um, the dungeon or other chest that you want to spawn in now the way we can do this rather than memorizing every single kind of string is we can just say chest gen hooks dot and then we have a bunch of static strings um, for this use so we have dungeons mine shafts uh, pyramids and temples strongholds and uh, village blacksmiths the one thing I'm not sure about here is the bonus chest but I'm sure you can figure that out um, or someone will figure it out and put it in the comments below I'm going to just go ahead and do a village blacksmith but you can do any one you want. They all work the same way. Now we actually have to define our, the item that we're going to be using to spawn. Um, and the way we do this is we're going to say new weighted random chest contents new item stack and then our item, in this case item tutorial. And then after the item stack we're going to say comma one um, that would normally be the weight of the item, but if you put anything more than one, it, at least when I tested it, um, it crashed Minecraft. And then we're going to put the minimum number of items we want to spawn. So in this case, we can put like five or five. Um, and then the maximum number. So generally, you're not going to want to go over 64 because that is um, a maximum item stack but I'm just going to say 18 for now. Now we have to import everything. Um, content. Oh, um, content without an S, so yeah. And then we're going to import item stack. And if we run the game, um, actually I really don't have time uh, to search through um, a world to find a village blacksmith but uh, just trust me this does work if it doesn't then tell me in the comments and I will redo the video with a method that does work but this does work um, code will be in the description as usual so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time